About a month after I started, I noticed that the boys in my classroom had been exposed more to 3D printing than the girls. They came in with some prior experience and the girls were starting a little bit more behind. It was discouraging to them to have their male counterparts advancing so much more quickly and getting things 3D printed at a much faster pace. My name is Jessica Hughes and I run the fifth grade girls 3D print club. Um, are there any questions? Yes. So we meet once a week for about an hour, hour and a half. The girls come in, they get started using CAD software. We start there and I teach them about the 3D space and how to manipulate objects in the 3D space. And once they get a feel for that, then I show them the 3D printers, explain to them how they work, how to troubleshoot, how to design cura settings that will fit the objects that they're printing. Every week they just run to the printers. They can't wait to get something sent over to the printer to see how it'll turn out. When I first had this brainchild for this 3D print club, the first thing I wanted more than anything else was female mentors in the STEM field. I felt that the most important thing wasn't the teaching the 3D printing, it was the empowering them to envision themselves in the STEM field, and the 3D printers were just a tool. I felt like them having female mentors would allow them to see themselves in those positions. And GE was so great. They sent someone every week, a different woman from a different department, so that the girls could see the wide range of opportunities that there are. They really gave the girls a window into what's possible for females in STEM and that was invaluable. It, it's such a great experience because the girls are gaining so much in the way of understanding that they have a place in STEM and that they can start to see themselves in the STEM field and in STEM jobs. They always thought that creative meant art. You know, I'm going to go paint something or I'm going to go um, sculpt something. Now they know that they can actually use technology to create and become makers instead of consumers.